Hello, James here, and today we're going to review a couple of OBD2 dongles. Uh, basically, this one that I recommended in my last video, I felt going focus, not my face, so I need to cover my face for it to focus. The fossil one, basically, this one doesn't seem to be in stock half the times. I think I've only seen it back in stock once after I put up the uh, link on the video. So I thought I'll contact some suppliers from Amazon. So I messaged 10 of them to see if I could get some products to review. So I asked them if the OBD2 dongles would work with Least Buy and I got seven no reply. I got one that said um, Oh, Amazon won't let us do that. They won't let us send out free products like this. And I think, okay, fair enough. So, I managed to grab myself two extra OBD tongos to review and test. One which was sent by K Solutions, and this gave me an LE Link uh, model, which is a approved version for Leaf Spy, and also um, Max Mal sent me the Vgate iCar which uh, basically they didn't really know if it worked they said they had some feedbacks from the some customers that said it did so they wanted to make sure that it did work so they sent me one which is which I'm very grateful that they did for this review uh, to start off the boxes the actual Vgate one is very very good quality uh, whereas this one is a little bit thinner uh, but we're not here about those. What we're really after is what's inside them, and that's these things. So, this is the LE Link version. Uh, come on, focus. So, this has a nice clear box. Yeah. And then this one has a funky design. Uh, it's a bit green. There we go. So, I'll link these both at the bottom. What I'm going to do now is link them all in. Obviously, we know this one works, the fossil one, so we know this works. So we're not going to bother doing anything with this. So first off, I am going to go with the V-Gate. So we're going to plug this in and test it out. Done. So blue light's coming on for the Wi-Fi. So it's reconnecting through the Wi-Fi. And it's connected again yay finally uh, the Wi-Fi works so you've got to connect it onto Wi-Fi you have to unplug it and then plug it in because you need to reset it I think to get it to communicate to send out a communication again and then from here your V your Wi-Fi should link onto the V-Link and you just go into the settings so like ODB2 Wi-Fi device and V-Link and that that's how you can get it to work this even with the power down after it's powered down you can't connect back onto it by the looks of it so you have to pull it out and push it back in it's not really a problem for people that don't want to leave the dongle stuck in the vehicle uh, and it's a good sort of like price point because I think this is the cheaper one so it works so you know there's no issues with it this is how it looks when it's all connected. So you've got the red light and then you've got the green and the Wi-Fi which is flashing. So that tells you that it's working correctly. Uh, so it looks like you have to unplug it, have the car off, plug it in, then uh, connect it onto the Wi-Fi, onto your phone, and then switch the car on and then basically go through the menu system on Leaf Spy to link onto it. So it does work and it's very stable because it's Wi-Fi. So th this should work for Android and Apple. Obviously I've not tested it for Apple. Uh, so this is more of an Android review, I suppose. So for our next product, it's the LE Link. So I'm gonna plug it in and this time, the bit of paper supports says it supports Bluetooth, but I think it's supposed to support Wi-Fi as well. And I think Wi-Fi is mainly for Apple users. So there's nothing on my network that shows up as 
LE link in any form or way so th it just basically won't work on Wi-Fi but if we come back to Lee Spy what we can do is what I like about this is if you just press Bluetooth 4.x LE click on that it actually automatically links to it I think for Apple they'll probably have the uh, Wi-Fi equivalent button for it or, or connect onto Wi-Fi so now, if I swing the camera around, you will see that it has one red light and then the green light comes on and the yellow light. Car is booting up. So there you go, you see the auxiliary. I'm just gonna turn the heating on and off. So, aircon off auxiliary off so that's at least my working out with this uh, turn the heating back on so that's the LE link linked up so that was a uh, nice and easy so out of these three products which one would I recommend um, if you've got the budget I'd go for the LE link because it's the easiest one to connect on um, and it seems like a premium sort of product apart from the box and then you've got this one is great if you don't want to leave it plugged in all the time or if you're on a budget yeah and this one's all right as well if you can if it ever comes back in stock but you know we've got these three different choices to go with i mean i know they all work with least buy on android I'm sure they would work with Least Buy with Apple as well in some form or another. So I don't have the Apple app or an Apple phone and I don't intend to buy a phone just to test this out. So if you guys find out that it works, just leave it in the comments below. So once again, I'd like to thank uh, K-Solution and Max Mall for sending the products in for us to test and basically to the other seven who didn't send it obviously they don't work with least buy or you know there's uh they just basically didn't trust me making a video <laughs> i would just like to say once again thank you guys for watching if you like the video hit the like and subscribe and hopefully i'll have some more products to review for you guys next time